All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm here today to create some resin pieces. And I've been making a lot of these, so I don't know what's going to happen with all of these at some point. But these ones here, I would say, are my fail pieces. And so it's been an evolution of about three or four different ways to make these. This is also another that I'm saying is a fail. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark. But, um, and then there's this one. This one is pretty good. I'll show you guys these also later. But um, this one, we I added some little sparkly hearts. It's a little more opaque. No, it's a little more um, see-through. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, but we'll see. I'm going to try to show you how, to, how I did these. They kind of look like a galaxy. I, I kind of like it. So, um, let's see if I can get it so you can see. Kind of cool. So anyways, I'll show you how to do this. The first thing we're going to do is um, put in the resin to mix it up and clean all this stuff up. Put it over here. All right. So I'm using these two. Um, we have the A and we have the B side. I'm going to put equal parts into this little cup right here. I don't knock the camera over. So that says A. Let's do this right. Put this in the A one. And I'm going to put about, I think it says 20 ml. So about like that. Then I'm going to put another um, 20 ml of the B. Holy cow, I just tried to dump it in there. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's about equal. And now I'm going to put both of these into this little container right here. Try to keep it so you can actually see what I'm doing. And then we mix these up. Now hopefully when I edit this, it'll look seamless. It'll be just so like, oh, look at what she did. That's amazing. Instead of me fumbling with everything on the table here. There's that. And then we're going to go with the B. Now, when you mix this up, you want to do it for about five minutes. So I'm not going to show the whole five minutes of me mixing. Um, and then there's also a period of time where I kind of let it settle just for a couple minutes so that all the bubbles kind of go out. I'm going to stir this for about five minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, welcome back. So I've been stirring this for about five minutes and it has some bubbles in it. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to let it just kind of um, settle down, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty well mixed. I don't see any of the other color because it's not, they're both white or clear, but this one has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it. I don't know if it's just because this is the, the way it came in the box or if it's always like that. Um, I think I've used this a few times and it does have that little bit of a tint, but it dries you know, pretty clear, so I don't notice it in the final product. But I'm gonna do this. 
And that's probably adding more bubbles, so if you can find another way to stir this, that would be probably awesome. So let me know. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to put that here. And then these are clean, um, mostly. I have a little bit of glitter from the last batch. And it looks like some stuck on stuff, but the inside is fine. So I'm going to show you my technique. This is a little bit different from what I've seen on the internet. You may have seen it done this way before, but when I use the alcohol ink and I do it, let's say I fill it up and then I put the ink on it and then, um, and then just let it go and, and harden, it gets this little, like a lip. See how it's kind of got a, like a, it's concave in there. Um, and it feels like the ink is like risen up to the, the edge. It doesn't, it doesn't mix and get inside the entire piece. And there's, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a, um, like one fine area. So I'm trying to avoid that. I want it to be a little bit more mixed inside the piece itself. Um, and not just floating on the back. So this is what I did with this one. So we still we have the the we have the the um, design. Okay, I put the stuff on the back. When I you'll see what I'm talking about. It does have a little bit of that concaveness but it's not as rubbery on the edges where this one, what I do with it, this kind has a little bit more rubber on the edge. And so I'm trying to avoid that. So we'll see, let's dive in. Now there's still a little bit of bubbles and I'm gonna just gently mix this a little bit more. Oh, I did it. So one thing I'd like to say is I have been super judgy on other people's channels. I'm like, oh, why can't they keep their stuff right in the in the screen? Well, that's because you just can't sometimes. And so I'll try to be less judgy about that. So here I am. I'm going to stir this. And then I'm going to pour. Let's do this one. So I'm pouring it in. Hopefully you can see that. Just a little bit. Because I want it to smooth out inside the, the lower half of that mold. Put a little bit in here too. Okay. Now you're not going to be able to do this part if you fill up the entire mold um, because it'll leak like this one will be here and then you'll tip it and this one may have a little bit of it and it'll pour all over the place this I know this because that's what I did so I'm gonna try to just you know make this spread out spread out a little bit a little more in there until it coats the bottom. Okay, so now it looks like pretty much all the area is covered except for this one. Put a little bit more in there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take, I have three steps. I'm going to take a little bit of this purple and this is mica powder that comes in, that came in the kit. And I'm not, um, representing any of this, these products. None of this was sent to me. I bought it all. 
and um, it's just from my stash. So I'm going to put a little bit of that there. A little purple here. Give it some sparkle. Okay. Put that back in frame. out a little bit right there okay so we've got the sparkly mica powder here I'm going to use an alcohol per alcohol ink pearl and let's see what's this color intrigue Ooh, I love it. So we're going to throw a little intrigue in here. And I'm just going to go around the edge. You can create whatever design you want. This is just the way I'm going to do this one. A little bit there. A little bit there. And you'll see that these, even though they are similar now, when it comes time to look at them, you'll see that there's they're probably a little bit different. And this is alcohol ink pearl uh, tranquil is the color. Comes out pretty fast. I'm just gonna throw, you know, three, four drops in there and then just kind of let it do its thing for a minute. I don't know if you can see that floating on the top. It's kind of sparkly, which I love. And now see as I'm moving it, it's still moving all the pigment around. So, now, put this right here so you can see it. Now, I'm going to pour more of this resin in here, which will distribute the pigment even more. But I want it to fill up. So I'm going to just start in the center. I'm sorry I'm blocking your view of this one. And I'm just going to keep it going. I'm going to try not to knock everything over, but I need to get down here and look at it because I'm at a different weird angle. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. And as this dries, it's going to, first of all, it self levels. So that's good, which means it's going to level itself off. But then also, hopefully, it'll be smoother across the back. And if I go too much and get it higher than the little, um, piece of silicone that is um, for the where you put the jump ring it's going to be fine because I can come back and use a little drill to go through that hole to make sure it's to make sure that it's you know um, flush with it and open so right now everything's wet <laughs> and 
of course my camera is mounted on this tripod so let's see if I can get it down here so you can actually see that a little bit better and there we go see how it see that there so so we're gonna let this sit overnight and I'll come back and we will check it out in the morning all right thank you all right I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys one more time this is what it does while it's drying so the pigment is mixed in and the white that you see is going to be see-through which is very cool it's going to be see-through and then hopefully we'll get some really good effects once it dries okay so i will see you tomorrow hello what i'm going to do is show you a little bit closer um <laughs> i am holding the camera oh my gosh this could be a disaster if i drop this it's going to go right into that um resin and that would be really typical for me to have that happen so you pour the resin in and i've got resin all over my fingers of which of course i should probably be wearing gloves but I didn't think about that till just now. And the resin is flattening out into that, um, into that mold. I'm gonna take some of this mica powder and throw some of this in there. This is gonna be hilarious. because I'm not left-handed and I'm using my left hand so that's good okay so there's the sparkle you can kind of see it very very pretty and then I'm going to take some of this shake it up this is alcohol ink amethyst that's pretty and then let's do a con a little bit of a contrast color which is the same thing alcohol ink only it is pearl and it's tranquil right there okay we want it to be tranquil I love what it does when it hits everything really sparkles I don't know if you guys can see that but there's like total movement as it mixes in I just love it okay so now I'm going to take this I'm going to pour it in there and then it's going to keep mixing Lots of movement there. I'm going to put a little bit more. Just to fill it up. It's going to go a little bit over that area where the jump ring will go that's all right and as you can see i put too much in there so we'll see these ones are pretty much level this one is not so when it dries it'll be interesting to see if any of it shrinks down to create that little bit of a lip that i showed you earlier 
All right, so here we go. Good luck, pieces. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, so it's been 24 hours and everything has gotten solid. So we're just gonna pop these out, see what they look like. see that cool oh that's really pretty it almost looks like a galaxy to me Very sparkly. There's the back. There's the front. Sweet. Sorry, I've tried to do this with one hand. There goes one on the floor. This is the one that had a little bit of a bevel on it when I poured it. It was a little bit thicker. And you can see that um, it's still got that bevel look to it, but it's still nice. I like it. And anything like this on the edge, you can just cut that right off with scissors or an X-Acto knife or something like that. The only thing I would suggest is definitely wear gloves. I did not wear gloves and that was a mistake. So you definitely need to wear gloves um, because you don't want to get this stuff on your hands. I don't know why I thought, that. I, I don't know what, what I was thinking because I always wear gloves except when I'm making this video, I decided, well, today I'm not gonna wear gloves. So, but yeah, just as far as that, you need to wear gloves. Um, Oh, I like this one. I wish you guys could see it. Maybe if I put it in the sun. Hmm. I don't know. Hard to tell. Anyway, so that is how you make the resin jewelry pieces. And I'm not affiliated with this company. I just had it on hand. But you can find these on Amazon. Um... I just put in the search bar resin jewelry making and that's what came up um, but I am not it's not a paid um, tutorial or anything like that it's just stuff I had on hand and I just want to show you so all right thank you so much you guys have a great day